My name is Sojourn Igalo, Super Eagle Striker of Nigeria, and I pray for Shanghai Shenhua of China. I was born and brought up in Ajegule. It was not easy in the beginning, but if I look the journey from there to where I am so today, I have no regret. I am grateful to God because uh, if you go back to Ajegule now, even back then, I'm the least player there because we have much greater talent better than me. I'm fortunate and privileged and the grace of God is upon me. That's why I'm where I am so today. So I'm happy. The beginning, it was very difficult, you know, when you you play football in the grassroots, you don't have those that supported you. You have to provide everything yourself, buy your football shoes, buy your jersey, buy water you drink, even pay for training deals, you know. From there, we went to play Julius Bega in friendly game in Abekuta. I was being picked by Coach Amao. Then I signed for Julius Bega. Then from there to Oslo, Norway. From there to Italy. From there to Spain. Spain to England and now in China. You know, it has been a great journey. Not a smooth one, but like people know me, I only take the positive out of every negative in life. You know, so. I'm very happy and I'm grateful for where I am so today. So I just want to keep going and keep giving my best till the last day I will stop playing. Every time I do interview, I said after God in my life is my mom because he sacrificed a lot for me to get me shoes, to pay my training dues. And he got me my first football shoes, you know, the they call it Copa Mundia then, it's Abba made Copa Mundia. That's what we call it then, you know. We had to go to, to uh, Aswani with her to, to check for the boat, you know. And I could remember many players then, they don't have people that supported them, you know. Some of them cannot even pay for training dues and all that. Some of them talent just go that way because they don't have who supported them, you know. A man is nothing without family and loved ones, you know. I, I have my kids there, my wife there, and I try to, to do the best, you know. We are not perfect, you know. So I think my kids, my family has kept me grounded and make me stay focused and believe that no matter what you achieve in life, you just keep working hard and giving your best, you know. So my, my family means everything to me, you know. My first call up was in 2013 or 14 against Uganda in Uyo. I was being called up by Daniel Mokachi. He took over then from Keshi when Keshi had some problem with NFF and all that. I was still in the championship with Watford. I was very grateful. I was happy. I was looking forward to get to the camp to, to get it going, you know. So I came and I joined the team. Unfortunately, we lost that game 1 0. It's a friendly game, we lost it 1-0, but it was a good feeling, you know, because I made my debut for the senior national team. It's every player's dream and uh, I enjoy every moment, every bit of it, you know. Though the World Cup did not go as planned, but I enjoyed myself because it's a different tournament entirely. When they are saying walk up, walk up, I didn't know how it feels till I was participating in it. It's a bit, I think it's the best in the world stage in football, you know. Countries from all over the world coming together, playing a game. You see the atmosphere in the stadium, you see everything, you see Nigerians, you see foreigners in the street everywhere coming together to unite. I think it's one of the best experiences I've, I've ever seen in my, in, my, in my time of football, you know, and I enjoyed it. I don't care what happened in the World Cup, but I enjoy every moment and I think I'm going to tell my kids about it when I grow up, show them the boat, show them the jersey I use for the World Cup and show them the, 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 the plaque of the World Cup which I have framed in my house to tell them that I participated in World Cup because some best players in the world did not have the opportunity to lace their boat in the World Cup, but I played games in the World Cup, so it's a great achievement for me. It was not a good feeling, you know. I think those ch those chances I missed, it was not that glaring, you know. But people took it out of football and did so many things, you know. I'm a striker. I want to score goals in every game I play. 
Nobody expect me to just stand on the field and miss a goal. I wanted to score a goal, but it's unfortunate it didn't go in. Even the best player in the world, they do miss goals. Nigerians love football, you know. I can understand their frustration, you know. They love football, they want the team to win, they want the team to qualify. But some of them took it to, the, to another level, you know, beyond football. Going through threatening, sending us kind of message and all that. But I kept quiet, I kept my calm because I've been playing professional football for 13, 14 years and I understand criticism, you know, and I'm, I live for that, you know. So it does not shake me, does not make me go want to kill myself because I believe it's football. Anything can happen in football. So I just let it go. I went back to my club, continued my life, playing for my club, scoring goals, and I'm back again. Now, I did well now, one, the highest score in the qualifier, qualified the team with my teammates to the Nations Cup, and people now started singing praise Igalo Igalo. But I'm not getting carried away. So I'm happy, I'm scoring, I'm doing well with the national team, doing well with my club. But I just want to keep focus and keep working out. That's how football is. My comment was half, even one year plus before World Cup. But people did not take notice of that. But they thought, it's after I walk up out of my comment. I will never have my comment for nobody. You can say whatever you want to say. And I can tell you the same people that I send it and all that. I know them. They still send me inbox and all that, asking for things and all that. But this is life for you. So I want to get that straight. I didn't have my comment because of World Cup or because of nobody. And when I like to do it, to open my comment again and open it, not because people tell me or people pressurizing me to open it. No, my page is for me. And if you don't, if you say what I don't like, then I block you. Is when they measured my kids. You know, somebody called. They call my kids bastard. Somebody say threatening stuff about my kids. I call Coach Gennett Rod. I'm not coming back to the national team. You know, he talked to me, he said, no, you have to come and come and prove them wrong because I know you're a good goal scorer. Don't listen to what people say and all that because my wife said, you are not going back there. My mom said, you are not going back there. This is beyond what anybody can take, you know. My kids are my life. I can kill, I can die for them, you know, because I live for them. That's why I felt bad and I said, no, I'm not coming back. But the coach talked to me that you don't have to stop because of what people say. You're a good professional, just keep working. And that's when I came, even when my wife said, well, it's your choice if you want to go. I, I feel you should not go, but I will just support you, whatever you decide and all that. I'm happy that I made that decision to be back and I'm happy everything turned around for good. And I'm not getting carried away. I'm still looking forward to the Nations Cup and by God's grace, do better and better and better till my last day here in the Super Eagles. You know, we striker, we are being judged by goals, you know, so I try as much as possible to score. If it's not possible, then give assist or help my team to win games. I want to thank God for achieving that feat and uh, I feel really happy, I feel great. And most especially, I dedicate it to the team, the coaching crew, the staff, and everybody that work together with this team that make that possible because it's a teamwork, you know. Without them, this won't be possible. So I thank everybody for that and I dedicate it to the team. My personal goal is to try and do well with the national team, do better and hopefully being the last four for the tournament or last two. I want to thank them for their support. I know it's not been easy, but I thank you guys for your support, for your prayers. Keep praying, keep supporting me. Not only me, my club side, the national team. I'm going to keep making you guys proud. God bless you guys. My name is Sojian Igalo, Super Eagle Striker of Nigeria, and I pray for Shanghai Shenhua of China. Keep supporting Nigerian footballers.